Hey guys, it's Austin here with Out Jeeping. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace your old cigarette lighter with an in-dash USB port. And today, I'm going to be doing it on my Jeep Cherokee behind me. So, let's get started. So this style USB port is actually marine type. That's because it has this little rubber plug over here that helps keep any water and debris out. So it's not necessary for putting inside a vehicle. So this simply just pops out. You got this retaining collar and you can pull it out just like so. And then another thing that comes with this is we just have two simple spade connectors that we can plug onto any wire that go into the back of our port right here. So if you are aware with the Jeep Cherokee and usually most vehicles, they have two cigarette lighters. One is usually going to be power all the time, and then one's going to have power when you just have the ignition on. And that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be replacing the ignition cigarette lighter with this one. So whenever the ignition is on, we'll have power to our USB ports. This will be very helpful if you have a GPS or something that needs to be on when the vehicle's on. This will do the trick. Or you can just have this plug up to your phone, but whatever it'll be, it's important to have it in the ignition. That way you won't drain your battery when the car is off. So let's get started on removing the cigarette lighter. So just like the majority of you guys out there, I'm using one of these USB cheap connectors that just go in the cigarette lighter. You know, they're okay, but after a while they get annoying because they always like to pop out and they don't charge as fast. And with this upgraded one we're putting in today, we have two ports and they're about 2.1 amps each and they charge a hell of a lot faster than this one right here. And now we're gonna take off the center bezel and to do that, we just gotta pry on the bottom corners. It just pops out like that. Put that to the side. All right, so now we can see our bottom control panel here and we're actually gonna be removing this from the Jeep. It's gonna make the job a heck of a lot easier. So to do that, we basically got two Phillips screws on the left-hand side and then one on the right. And now with that pulled out, we can take all of our electrical connections that go to all of our switches and disconnect them. All right, so with our panel out, it's gonna be a lot easier to work on. And the one we're going to be replacing today is the left-hand side cigarette lighter. And the reason why is because that's always on when the ignition is on. So to take this old guy out, it basically doesn't clip out as easy as you would think. It actually just kind of molded in there along with the uh, rest of the panel. So to take this out, basically we're going to take some pliers and just try to rip out this metal section. Once we get that far, I'm basically just going to grind out this hole so it's a little bit larger and then we should be able to fit in our new USB port. Alright, so basically I'm going to take some channel locks and just try to get this out. It's okay if you destroy it because you can't use it after. All right, so once you get that crimped enough, it should just fall out, and now we're left with the hole. All right, so if we take our new USB port and we put it over, you can see that there is some material we're gonna have to file out. On the back side, they have this plastic little ring, and we're gonna completely remove that because the diameter is smaller than what's on here. And then basically, yeah, we're just gonna be filing this out until it fits, or if you have a perfectly sized hole saw, you can always use that too. So I got a few different files here, and I'm just going to go to town. Alright, so after a couple test fits, our hole is now big enough. And all we got to do is just push it into place. And then we're basically going to clock it to where we want it. And then once we got it where we want it, we're going to take our retainer ring and we're going to thread it onto the back side. Finger tight is usually fine, or you can get it a little bit more with some channel locks. All right, with that installed, as you can see, it has a nice clean appearance, and now we're gonna put it back into the Jeep. So as far as wiring, it's pretty straightforward. We have the old two wires that go into the back of the cigarette lighter, and basically we're just gonna snip off this connector, and then you can use the spades that were provided and crimp them onto the new wires. 
and it's pretty simple red is positive and black is negative alright now we can put the panel back into place alright so we're gonna take our panel and put it back into place we're gonna start off with our electrical connections so we got our two spades and they simply plug in the back over here and they got a plus for positive minus for negative All right, so now we can push that back into its spot. And then take our screws and screw it into place. All right, then our last thing to do is just put our bezel back into place and that simply just snaps back on. All right, so let's test it out and see if it works. Seems to be charging my phone just fine. This is definitely one of my favorite upgrades to do on these Jeeps because it's so cheap, you know, 10 bucks, and almost everyone has an electronic device, whether it be phone or a GPS, and you need those to be charged. And usually modern cars now all have USB ports, so why not upgrade your old Jeep to have one? Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As you can see, it was one of those cheap and easy installs to do, and you get a lot of satisfaction by using it every day. So, if you have any comments or questions, post them below, and I'll be happy to answer. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe to the Outcheaping YouTube channel, and I'll help keep these videos coming. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.